So, how long do you leave things in your shopping cart? Hi y'all, thanks so much for joining me. In less than 15 minutes, I'll be sharing with you three questions to help you to make a decision in your business and they have to do with how you treat shopping carts when you shop online. So please like and share the video if you get value from it. Listening to it on the podcast, appreciate your support. Also would appreciate if you put a like or heart in there. So I'm Dr. P with Priscilla Cooser Consulting Solutions and I'm a strategic business coach and I've been a school psychologist for about 10 years in K-12 schools, served on professional organization committee and also have taught more than 10 online psychology graduate courses at the master's level. And I wanted to talk to you today about shopping carts because it's just something that came to my mind, you know, as I was sitting down reflecting on some conversations I've had with people over the years, you know, about how they take actions, right? So that shopping cart feature for me, I think is a great feature on any website to have, right? Because I get to put things in my shopping cart and here's the best part, I get to leave them in the shopping cart, right? I know you know what I'm talking about. You can go on a website, you can shop online, put all those things in your shopping cart, but you don't have to buy them. You can just put them there and they're in your shopping cart, right? Because that's your shopping cart. But again, you don't have to buy them. So here's my question to you. How long do you leave things in your shopping cart? Seriously, sit, think about it. Because you're probably wondering what on earth this has anything to do with your business, building that business, scaling that business, growing that business, or even making decisions in your business. But let me tell you, it has a lot to do with it. Because just stick around and like I told you, I'm going to share with you three questions you can ask yourself to help you to stop leaving things in your shopping cart so long. But again, I agree, shopping carts are great features to have. Don't get me wrong. They really are. But how you treat them can say a lot for how you make decisions. And I'm talking about those type of decisions that can impact your business. So I know it's really good to go online and, you know, there's a sale that caught my eye and I can go and I could shop in the sale and put things in my shopping cart because they're all things that I'm interested in, right? You're talking about clothes, shoes, jewelry, tablets, laptops, webcams, health food, some artwork, some home decor, you name it. You can go online, at least I know I can go online and I can look at all these different things on all these different websites with all these different companies and companies that I know, like, and trust and also companies that I haven't heard about, some new companies that popped up, whether it was an ad on the side or somebody told me about it, but I can go on their website and I can add things to my shopping cart. I don't have to purchase it. I'm just adding it to my shopping cart and that is awesome, right? And I call it window shopping while you're online. That's what I call it. Because, again, you get to look around the store and there's no salesperson there asking you if you need any help. Because sometimes you're not even quite sure what you're looking for. You might just be thinking that this place has something that could possibly benefit you, but you're not sure. But, yeah, sometimes on Lango, there is that chat box that pops up and there is this um, person, online support, that's asking you, hey, is there anything I can help you with today or are you looking specifically? And sometimes they even give you options. But the thing is, is that being online, what can you do? You can just click that X and it X's it out, person disappears, and you continue shopping online, adding things to your cart, taking things out of your cart, because they're all things that you're interested in. Because you find something else, you're no longer interested in something, so you pull that out your cart, you add something else. And here's what you're focusing on. All these are things that you're interested in things that you think that you need or you want that can help you with solving some issue that you're having right now in your personal life or even in your business it could be something that you're looking at but you are putting them in your shopping cart and you're not having to buy anything so I know that that is a really good feeling that we have because again you get to put things in your shopping cart, but you're not buying it. I know I keep saying that because I'm saying it for a reason. Because we are just on there looking around to see what this company has to offer. That's what we're doing. We're just looking around. And if by chance we come across something that we like, 
that we seem interested in, we've just added to the shopping cart, but we don't buy it yet. Because I know I've been there, put things in my shopping cart, caught my eye, and then I move around, move on to something else. And when you're in your shopping cart, guess what? You don't have to sign up for no account. There's no commitment whatsoever. You can just keep adding to that shopping cart. And you can pay attention to how much the shopping cart is or you can ignore it. But you know, you can add $100, you can add $1,000 worth of stuff. But the most important thing is you're not buying anything at that point in time, right? Is that you're looking at all the things you're interested in buying. I'm being honest, I put things in my shopping cart, then I leave and I go to another website. And there's a website for the competitor, right? And I look to see what that competitor is offering. Are they offering the same exact thing that I was looking at at the first website? If not, okay, is are they offering something else that is similar? Sometimes they're offering the same thing with the same product number and everything. Other times they're offering something different and something even better. But even when it is the same, what do I do? I have my one, two, three, or four windows open up. I'm looking at not only the product title, but I'm looking at the description to see what they have to offer. And I'm comparing, okay, is this one giving me more? No, is this one giving me more? I'm trying to figure out which one is giving me what exactly I want. But that's a funny thing, right? Because all the while, I'm just window shopping, right? I'm window shopping. I'm not really committing, but yet, I'm here comparing and contrasting to see which one I can get the most out of for my money and that will meet my needs. Isn't that interesting how we do that, right? And after I've gone through and done my comparing and contrasting, what do I do? I make a decision, okay, these two. But yet, I don't buy it. I close the window down, move on to something else, right? Because I wasn't ready. I was not ready to make that purchase. So then a few days later, or being honest, sometimes a few weeks later, I decide, let me go back and look at my shopping cart at that item that I had my eye on. You know, let's say it was a pair of shoes or, you know, some jewelry or something. I go back and I look at my shopping cart. So I'm looking at these pair of shoes and I'm like, okay, I put this in my shopping cart for a reason. Okay, what was the other sites that had the same shoe? Because what am I doing? I'm looking to see if that other site, you know, that competitor now has the same product, maybe even cheaper, or maybe they have something better. But that, those are things that we do when we're shopping online. We look to compare what is happening you know, with the competition because we want to make sure we're getting the best for our money, right? I mean, I do, so I really want to make sure of that. So now that I've put it in my shopping cart, walked away from it, you know, come back days or weeks later, now I'm looking again, then I'm looking with the, the competitor and I'm comparing again. Now it's time to make a decision on which I'm going to actually buy, right? That's when the decision comes. What am I going to be doing? So here's how I help myself. I look at the item and I'm like, seriously, is this something I really need right now? Because what problem is it solving for me, right? And do I even have the money to spend on this? Because that's another one. That's a big one for a lot of us. Do we really have the money to spend on that item? Because if we're spending it on that, what are we not going to be able to buy, right? So you're making that balance. Then, is this really a company I know? Do I know anybody who shops with this company? Have I ever shopped with this company before? Do, do I think that it's going to be a safe purchase? So those are some of the, those are the three questions that I ask myself to help me with making that decision. And they do help me because once I go through that, then from there, it's smooth selling because I'm like, yep, I'm ready to purchase. And I hit that purchase, our buy now button, and boom, that item goes, you know, goes through all, putting in all your credit card information and everything. And then I purchase it. Now I have that pair of shoes that I was looking at or the clothes or the, the laptop or the tablet, whatever it was that I was looking at for days or weeks. I finally have it because now is the time that it makes sense for me to get it. And as a business owner, I can tell you this. I don't leave things in my shopping cart as long as I used to before. I don't. Because I use those same questions when I'm making decisions right now in my business. Especially when you're looking at getting other services to help help you out. Those are what I, those are the questions I ask myself when I'm looking at those other services, right? And like I said, I get it. When you're working on your business, you come across a service, like a service from a business coach or digital marketing, sales support. Where, whatever kind of business you come across 
and you go and you decide, let's schedule that free consultation with them. Let's see what they have to offer. See if it's something that you're interested in doing or interested in getting for your business. And if you are really wanting that service and know that it can be a benefit for you, you might be like, hmm, maybe they got a shopping cart feature, right? So I could put it in my shopping cart and come back to it because it is easier for us to put things in our shopping cart to come back to it rather than having that pressure of making that decision right then and there on the spot. And I'm going to get to why that is for a lot of us, right? Because when we have to make that purchase, you know, business coaching, digital marketing, sales support, web design, you name it, whatever is the service you have to get accounting, legal support, whatever is the service you need to get for your business, it is going to cost you money. I get it. And it's a big decision, right? So you're looking at making sure, is this really a service I need for my business? Can it really answer the problem, you know, questions that I'm having, solve my problems? You know, those are questions that you're going to be asking yourself because you're looking for help to give you something that you need in your business. But the trick is knowing when to make that purchase because we cannot keep services that we need for our businesses in a shopping cart for days and weeks. When we know, when we first looked at it, that it was something we needed in our business right then and there. Because where can that lead us? That can lead us to feeling stuck, feeling frustrated because you're not getting anywhere doing it by yourself. You know that you need to get these services, but yet you're putting them in your shopping cart for a later date, for when, whenever, you know, you think that timing is going to be right. But when really is the right timing? You got to ask yourself that question. So here's a funny thing. Even when you explore your options and you compare those options, you still feel more comfortable with just looking, right? I get it. You do. You feel more comfortable with just looking. And let me tell you why you feel that way. Because you know if you do more than just look, that you'll be moving your just looking into taking an action. That's where it comes in. And it's not just any action. It is an action that is going to lead to you having to make a change in your business. And change can be uncomfortable. As a business coach, I can tell you this. I know how important it is for you to be ready to make that change. With my experiences and my training in psychology, I know that if you're not ready to make that change, that change is going to not be meaning for you whatsoever. And actually, here's what's going to happen. If you go and you make that change, let's talk about that shopping cart. Say, I found these pair of shoes, I'm like, yeah, I want to get these shoes, and it was really quick on making that decision, right? Sometimes, I might go, hey, that was a waste of my money. Then and I might return it. Then other times I might sit down and go, no, I made a decision to purchase these shoes because they were what I wanted. So can I say wasted my money? No, because I looked at something that I wanted that I knew it was what I needed at that point in time. In our business, we got to be doing the same thing. When you're looking at making those decisions, you have to be making a, a decision as to whether or not you're ready to take that change that is needed to move your business to the next level. That's what we have to do as business owners. So if you're not ready to make that change, yes, it can be difficult for you. And if you make it, you might say that you're wasting your money or you might tell yourself, oh my God, I went into debt taking this service from this person. Or you may even say that person stole your money. But the thing is, chances are you went and you took a service that, that you sort of kind of thought you were ready for but you didn't put all the actions in place that you needed to put in place. And then because you didn't do your part, you're now saying that that person you got that service from was a waste of time, a waste of money, stole your money. But it wasn't the person. We still have to take accountability for our own actions. So again, when you're looking at making those changes, right? You made those changes, you made that purchase. When you made that purchase, you have to follow through on the action that goes with making that purchase and accept your decision that you made. Change is hard, change can be uncomfortable, but you're making a change that you know that you need in your business 
because if you are looking at that service right now, chances are it is a service that you know that you needed since weeks ago. So if you continue to wait, where is that going to lead you? Where is that going to take your business? So I get it. It is easy to put things in your shopping cart and come back to it at a later date. But when it comes to your business, can you afford to keep putting services into your shopping cart that you know that your business needs and then feeling stuck and frustrated? What is going to happen to your business then? Thank you so very much for joining me. Just want to share solutions plus actions equals results. So thanks for that. Bye.